Hi, my name is Victoria, and welcome to this video by the Oakland University Writing Center. This video will be talking about writing a discussion post, but make sure to check out our other videos as well. With classes being held virtually, online discussion posts are becoming more popular. This video is intended to assist students of all levels with writing and responding to Moodle discussion posts. This video will have three sections. First, we will talk about creating a discussion board submission in response to a professor's argument. Second, we will discuss responding to a classmate's discussion post. And finally, we will go over basic examples of Moodle discussion posts. To begin, let's talk about creating a discussion board post. Your professor has assigned you to post a comment or argument on a discussion board in Moodle. First, Follow the directions very closely. Pay particular attention to sentence and word counts. Begin with your argument or the direction of topic. There is no real introduction to a post. Get to the point right away. And explain why you are taking that stance. Back up your comments with quotes or evidence from the board's post topic. As you finish up, you may want to demonstrate an understanding of the other side's opinion or include a personal story or reason for your opinion if appropriate. Finally, restate your argument and conclude. Your post should be shorter than a paper, but contain as much content and contextual information as possible. So you have created a discussion board post, but your professor has assigned you to comment on a fellow classmate's post in the forum. There are a couple of things to remember here. Most importantly, the comment on a discussion post is not the same as a social media comment. Appropriate comments include those that are grammatically correct, add to the discussion, greet that individual, and give that individual respect. These comments are usually shorter than the original post, but use this time to start a conversation. Why did you decide to comment on that person's post? If you disagree with their point of view, justify yours with class content and specific evidence. As you conclude, ensure that you are complimenting them on their opinion, or show how you appreciate their take and enjoyed expanding upon it. As we wrap up, it is important to look at a Moodle discussion prompt and formulate proper responses. Your professor has assigned you, wrong line, the task of composing an argument for the following prompt. Which animals make the best pets, dogs or cats? You can see below that there are two discussion topics already started. One for dogs, started by me, Ron Line and one for cats, started by Sam Plant. Here you can see that Sally Fields comments on the dog discussion most recently, and Will Wright commented on the cats discussion post most recently. In the dogs forum, Sam Plant writes, dogs are better pets. While his comment does take a side, it has no evidence to back it up and doesn't invite classmates to comment and engage. Here, we can see a proper argument by Ron Line, where he states, In my opinion, dogs are better than cats because they are more social, loyal, trainable, can offer protection, are exercise companions, come in many sizes, and do not use a litter box. I also personally grew up with and currently own a dog and have never had a cat. This may make me more, bi more biased. However, I prefer to pet other people's dogs and not their cats when I visit. Ron takes a stance using some evidence and a personal opinion. He begins by stating, in my opinion, which shows that he recognizes that others may have a different opinion, and he gives classmates the ability to comment on a couple of different points in his post, personal context, his potential bias, and evidence. Now your professor has asked you to comment on someone else's post. In this example, Will Wright comments on the dog post under Ron Line's comment saying, that's completely wrong. Science shows cats are better than dogs. Will's post shows a disregard for someone else's opinion in his first sentence and doesn't provide specific evidence showing that cats are better than dogs. This doesn't lead to a healthy discussion. The professor gives Will another shot and he formulates this response. Great points, Ron, and I understand your bias. Personally, I have had both dogs and cats. I have found that cats are more low maintenance and thus carry less financial burden and stress on their owners. This is supported by the literature, and he cites two articles here. Will's post 
brings in great evidence, compliments Ron, and addresses specific points he made. This encourages a great conversation about the topic at hand. As we conclude, I wanted to provide some additional resources here. The first bubble assists in Moodle accounts with the help of ELIS. If you want some more information on maximizing your Moodle experience, click the second link. And for more assistance on writing a discussion post, schedule an appointment with us at the Writing Center or contact us at the Virtual Help Desk. All of these links are included in the video description below. Thank you for watching and good luck with your discussion post assignments.